five years ago, almost to the day, I uh, left all my family and friends behind to take on a six month international exchange to the United Kingdom, which is wild to think about that it was five years ago already. At the time, I was justifiably nervous, having never been away from home for more than three weeks and especially not 5,600 kilometers across the world. But more than anything, I was excited for a new adventure. I had a pretty rough year going into that and I wanted to explore, see some things that I never thought that I would ever see in my life. The experience, of course, was nothing short of life changing. I mean, I saw the Churchill War Rooms. I saw Stonehenge. I visited other countries that I certainly never thought I would see, like Italy and Ireland, and had some really amazing experiences there with new friends and even some solo journeys. During the trip, I was so grateful that I could see these places and I recognized how important it was for me to get out of Canada and get out of my home for a little bit. But above all, what made the trip so impactful and significant were the people that I met along the way and the friends that I made and fast friends at that. Um, two weeks in, we were all hanging out, we were going to pubs, we were taking trips. It was a lot of fun for me, someone who in the past had been somewhat of an introvert and didn't really know if I had the capacity to go over and make all these kinds of friends from all these different places around the world, like Australia and Italy and Denmark and France. And old me could never have pictured that happening. All of these people were the ones that really defined the trip and showed me just how amazing human beings can be and how kind and welcoming they can be. And it really sparked this curiosity for wondering whether all people are like this in all places. And I do get the sense now that that is the case. While I was away though, I was constantly posting these update videos on Facebook and trying to keep my grandparents and my parents in the loop of what was going on, whether I had made it here safe and talking about some things that I was doing, places that I was exploring, friends that I was meeting. And so I'd put these like nine or 10 minute videos up on Facebook just for everybody to watch. And uh, honestly, I never thought that I'd see them again. When I was posting the videos, it was just a fun way to stay connected and sometimes a cool way for me to create too. If I was going on a little trip, I'd make a little, you know, three minute recap video of the trip shot on my iPhone and watching them back, they're not they're not good. I'm sure that I'm going to have some of the clips in the video here. Um, they're not especially great, but the interesting thing is that I can see how much fun I was having making them and the people back home really appreciated seeing all the things that I was doing. Recently, I stumbled onto some of these old videos and I was actually really shocked at how I didn't recognize the person that was on the screen. It was me, but I was a stranger. And obviously this comes with age too. I mean, five years ago, I probably looked a little bit different than I do now. Huh? Not much, but enough. But the main thing that I recognized was that my mannerisms, the way I was speaking, my confidence really was the big thing that just wasn't present. And when I look back at that whole year, 2019, one of the best years of my life, I definitely had so much fun and explored so many new things. And over the course of the year, I gained a lot of confidence. The person that I saw on the screen was me, but I didn't have that confidence. I didn't have that drive. I didn't have the personality that I think that I have today. And obviously you go through a lot of growth between 20 and 25. You go through a lot of personal growth. I mean, since that time, I've, you know, I've finished two degrees almost on my third one now. Uh, because I'm insufferable and I'm motivated by grades. In that time, I've met so many people. I've now been in a stable relationship for two years, which is different and a change from where I was at previously. And there's a lot of things for me that are certainly different that I think have all come from my experience on exchange. But my point of this little monologue and of the video itself is that it's such a strange feeling to look at a video or a picture of yourself, which is clearly you, you know, it can't be mistaken that it is you, but that you have changed and become such a different person, so much so from what you were, that when I describe the person in those videos to people that I know now, they can't believe it. They can't believe that that would be the same person. At 25, I'm a person now who 
I would imagine most people describe me as extroverted and upbeat and happy and all of these things. For the most part, I can be a little grumpy sometimes. But the kid back then, the, the 20 year old, he had no idea what he was doing. He didn't really know how to talk to people. He was a little heartbroken too. And it's crazy to think how far I feel that I've come since that point. When I look back at the exchange, it was undoubtedly the best couple months of my life. I mean, other than having to go home halfway through to attend to a family matter, I really felt like I was coming into my own, like I was becoming a person that I wanted to be. But with that and with all the amazing things that I did and the amazing things that I saw, I was definitely isolated, but it wasn't because of other people isolating me. It was because I wanted to be isolated. To be honest, a lot of my exchange experience, not all of it, but a significant amount was spent in my room at my residence, staying up late to watch the Leafs games back home or playing Counter-Strike on my MacBook Pro, which I still don't understand how I accomplished that. but. It's still running strong. The MacBook Pro is still going today. So five years on, almost six years on, it's still holding up. But a lot of times I would feel bad for myself and feel like that sense of imposter syndrome where, you know, nobody likes me, nobody wants to hang out with me and really just feeling bad for myself. And it was a little bit of a downer. And I imagine it was probably a little bit of a downer for other people at times too. I was confused. I didn't know, you know, what I wanted. I didn't always know uh, who I wanted or who I wanted to hang out with, which was always frustrating as well. And I think that that's a point of actually a lot of regret when I look back at my exchange. Now, I think it's important to recognize that I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't go back and do it differently because I think the way that I did everything, the way that I lived and the friends that I made and the things that I did, all culminated into who I am now. And I, I like who I am now. I think I've become a person that I am proud of. But with that said, I do wish I was more outgoing and more willing to try new things and maybe a little more frugal at times with some of my expenses. Uh, because coming back from that trip, I had next to no money, which was well worth it, but it was a little bit, a little bit scary at times. But the main thing is that I think about the person that I am now, and if I were transported back into that same situation, I feel like I would be a better person to be around. I'd have a more fulfilling and wholesome experience, whereas I feel like there are certainly gaps in the way that I did it before. And the point of this, I guess, is just for me to kind of talk it out and vent it out and to see how I can compare those shoddy little videos that I shot on my iPhone five years ago to now feeling like I have a better grasp on the things that I'm doing, like I have a purpose in what I'm talking about. And like, I actually want to put my thoughts out into the open and share them with people because I'm sure that there's a lot of a lot of folks who had similar experiences. And I know that obviously we have our own worldviews and our own experiences of how things are. At the time while I was over there, I thought that everybody else was having the best experience ever, was having the time of their life, and every day was just sunshines and daisies. And I'm sure that's probably not the case. I'm sure if I talked to a lot of those people now, they'd say, no, I had some bad days, or there were days where I didn't feel so good, or I had this going on, maybe this was going on with my family, maybe I had this going on in my relationship. It's impossible to know. but. I think when I look back on it, there are just some things that I notice about myself that I wish I would have done better. And I guess another subset of this as well is that I just want to emphasize how amazing of an experience it was to go on an exchange and study abroad. And I really miss that experience five years on. And again, thinking that it's been five years already is absolutely wild to me. And the passage of time really just, it catches up to you quick. And all of a sudden I'm 25 and having to start my career and close to 30, which let's be honest, was a little tough, but I'm just really grateful. I'm grateful that I was able to go and have this experience at 20 years old because it really opened the doors for me for what's next in my life. I got the bug for travel once I studied abroad at 20. And then the next year when I was planning on doing all these trips, seeing all my friends from exchange wanting to go back, the world shut down, 2020, COVID, and everything kind of went out the window. And now that we're 
at least a couple years clear of the worst of it and people are getting back into traveling and I know I've done some traveling myself. I'm really looking forward to experiencing more of these places when I'm able to go back and really appreciating what these places have done for me and what these people have done for me as well. And looking forward to seeing them hopefully as well in the near future would be just wonderful. I am so grateful to all of the people that I met and I just wish at the time I had been a little more outgoing, a little more receptive and a little more positive, a little more like the person I am today. Anyways, I think that's it. I think I'm done talking now. Um, this has been an interesting exercise. I think it's been kind of cool. Um, yeah, the mustache is in right now. If you haven't seen me for a while, that's yeah, I like it personally. Not everybody's a fan, but I, I'm a fan. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Anyways, I have a bunch of more ideas that I want to get to and things that I want to talk about and things that I want to do and hopefully more video related things and not just talking at uh, a camera because I don't want to get into the habit of vlogging because I'm not a terrible fan of it but we'll see we'll see what happens anyways uh, if I know you thanks for watching if I knew you thanks for watching if I don't know you yet uh, I guess we'll see you down the road thanks